So as I was saying just before you came in the door, harmonica, that if I blow, the open notes are one, three, five, one.
When our daughter was four and five, and she used to spend her time spinning around in a circle until she got real sick and dizzy and fell down, she'd sing these little tunes. And if you listen to the little tunes she'd sing, she'd make up, oh, I'm doing the dishes, and then I'm going to go with mommy to the mall, and we're going to buy me the theater. And if you listen to the songs they're singing, or making up, most of them are pentatonic scale. <laughs> pentatonic scale. Um, and where's the one that aired another key? Oh. Uh, see, my favorite te television, which was ah, five, six, one, two, three, one, 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 two, three, five, six, three, three, six, five, three, two, one, six, six, five, three, two, one. <laughs> Archie Barker. Archie. Hey, Archie. So if you would like to watch TV be insulted, you can go and watch <laughs> and, and realize that that song that they're singing at the opening of the song, all pentatonic. I think the cartoon series Family Guy uses the same melody for their opening. Really? So they're using the Archie Bunker theme, I think, for that cartoon series. So again, you can hear cartoon characters sing in the pentatonic as well. So pentatonic. So once you got the pentatonic scale, and that's something that all you mere mortals can do, and uh, you know pretty quickly. All right? you animals. Right. And the next thing is that we added in the other notes. Now in the case of the guitar, what we would do is with the guitar. Here's one, two, three. We need a four, and it turns out that three and four are right next to each other. They're one fret away. So if I take this three and put a, another circle right here and put in four, that's where four would go, if I wanted it. Then we have five, six. Now if I want to add a seven, it can be added in two places on this scale. One is to skip over a fret and put it way down here, seven. Or the other would be to come up here and only go one fret behind the one right there, which is also, and those two notes are exactly the same note. So it depends on, you're going to have to move out of the pattern a little bit. You can move out of the pattern here and come back into the pattern, or you can move out of the pattern here. I prefer this one when I play this scale. So then, here's two, here's three. Where would four be? On this line, just like that. Right behind three, right? So here's three, so if I can put four in there. And there's five, and there's six, and again, where's seven? Well, seven, it turns out, is just one fret in front of one, so if here's a one, I can place my seven there. Now I now have here, this is the full scale. This is the full scale. This is a music theory class tonight, you know. So so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> well, I think you to get that. <laughs> Little out of two octaves is uh, pretty good for a singer, any singer. But can you see what's happening here? Those notes got added in, and by the way, you'll notice they were added in just one fret below or one fret above some other note that's in the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic scale, you'll notice, is either jumping three frets or it's jumping every other fret. And it has a really nice symmetry. And what these notes do is they break up that symmetry. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. <coughs> Better note. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now on any instrument, any musical instrument, say I want to learn to play saxophone. Okay? The saxophone is only two octaves and three notes wide. And if you're a good sax player, you can kick out another couple notes at the top and almost get a half a note at the bottom there around B, B flat. So you can kick out about an octave and three to four notes, two octaves and four notes. That's the entire range of the instrument, okay? Just two octaves in line. So if I can sing two octaves and the sax can play two octaves, we basically have the same bandwidth. Same bandwidth, right? Uh, trumpet has 26 notes total. There's only 26 notes on the trumpet, so if you count all the, there's 24 notes makes two octaves. So it's only two half steps bigger than two octaves. 
And that's the entire range of... Shout out to John Travis. Well, Travis. hey, <laughs> I played with Maynard Ferguson in the 60s. Yeah. I know that a trumpet can go further than 26 notes. <laughs> but the guy's got an iron lip. <laughs> that's, a, that's a freak of nature. I'm just talking about we near mortals. Okay? The thing about music theory is it does you don't have to know more than the rock is. Because it turns out the bandwidth of almost any instrument, a tuba, two octaves, and four notes. A French horn has the widest range of any horn, it's four plus octaves. And it's done in two sets of two octaves, and it's actually two horns. It's a B flat horn and an F horn. You're switching between. So you have two horns and you're switching between each one having two octaves. So it's still basically you have just two octave range. 